so good to see you. So good to see you. You, too. you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. you look fab. I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Natasha, here we go. Oh, Natasha. Is that the? Is that Natasha? Is that how we rolling now? Yeah. Yep, Natasha Wadley. Yes. My daughter. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. You shut the ballroom down tonight with that performance. My God, where did that come from? Baby, let me tell you something. That came from the world of drag. And for every person who's ever supported a drag entertainer or people just out there living their lives authentically, tonight was for you, baby. <laughs> you shut it down. I mean, you should have seen all of us back there. We all leapt to our feet. We were screaming and yelling. It was amazing. That's what we wanted to do, though. We wanted to create a moment that people would feel worthy cheering for. And tonight, they listen, they didn't crown Shangela, but they'll never forget her. Or Natasha. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> what has this journey meant to you? This journey has meant everything to me because it required so much discipline and commitment. And I'm just grateful to have had an amazing partner on this journey and this ride and also to feel the momentum of support of people. And especially in this moment when we're facing so many more tragedies against the LGBTQ the community the weekend, in this in country. Colorado. Right. That has no place I feel in my America so I hope that people seeing this kind of love and acceptance inclusion inspires more love in the world Lev, what are you most proud of with regard to Shangela's journey the most proud I think every week that she showed up and she delivered she always pushed pushed through she always worked hard and she always put on the show and she turned it she never gave up she walked that floor she walked that walk she did the dip she did the moves what I told her and that gave me inspired me every week to push forward and that's why we made the finale you know we didn't win but in my heart I won oh yes, you know indeed. having a moment like that yes. is already more than the mirror ball come on yeah, yeah. amen to that what about losing show Burke this season oh my god but listen this show may not have Cheryl Burke anymore, but the world still gets to have yes, Cheryl Burke. And i have it's been so amazing for me to be able to spend time closely with Cheryl because, you know, I've watched Cheryl on the show like, oh, she better work, she better twirl. <laughs> and to be with her and her to say, you know, to me like, you're doing great. Listen, extend the leg, give you a little tip, you know, the little Burke tips, you know. I was so grateful. I love her. Mm -hmm. What about Lynn, losing Lynn? Uh, we're gonna miss Len so much. You know, he's the heart of the ballroom. He's made such a huge impact on the show and on me personally. You know, every time he would give us a critique, we'd go back to the studio and we really work on that. And he pushed all of the professional dancers to stay true, being authentic with ballroom styles yes. because he wanted to see the basics, he wanted to see the frame, the close contact, and all of those little details that are so, so important that made the ballroom dancing so difficult. And we're gonna miss him so much. People take away nothing else from watching you this season. Shangela, what do you hope that it is? Uh, they will be a repeat customer. Please come see me on my new tour called Fully Lit. The tickets on Shangela.com. Baby, everything you saw in this ballroom, you'll get out there on the road. I love you.